That was your boy Ray Jr., Def Jam Zone, Ohio Zone, Cleveland Zone. Right now, we got your boy Ray Goss in the building. Not to be confused with Ray Jr. What's up, man? Make some noise. What up, what up, what up? What's going on? St. Louis is popping, man. Yo, man, let everybody know who you are right quick, man, because you was on the scene making a lot of moves. Then you got kidnapped or something. <laughs> let them know who Ray Goss is. Yo, I dropped a mixtape hosted by County Brown called Meet Ray Goss about four, five years ago. Mixtape was nuts in St. Louis, got a crazy response. We wrote that way for a minute, doing shows everywhere. Doing it real tough five years ago, and then doing it now. Like, five years ago, I would estimate it was like 500 rappers in St. Louis at the most. Now it's probably like 5,000. How do you feel about the two different eras? Just five years later, now everybody raps. I always tell my homeboys or whatever, you can go on any block and say, yo, who rap? And you'll have about 10, 15 people come out the house spitting or whatever the case is. And I mean, I just look at it like it is what it is. You can't stop. You can't tell no one to stop rapping or whatever the case. I mean, if you want to rap, do you because I'm going to continue to do me and I don't even worry about nothing like that now i know you've been around for a while so how what is your all right what is your overview on the majority of the music you hear coming from the local scene is it a whack b cool or c fantastic one well, i ain't gonna say nothing is whack because what i think is whack. you never heard whack music oh uh, let me let me get to that okay what i think is whack the next person may not think is whack somebody gotta like it I think that people can get more creative, beat-wise especially, because everybody looking for that same sound. When I asked about the music, because what I do each and every week, I try to get feedback. So I want to know, could I play a couple tracks for you, give me some feedback, red light, like, yellow green light, light, green light. Yeah, 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 yeah. Red yeah. light means it sucks, means we, not, we don't play it <laughs> ever. Like, never, ever, ever, ever. Don't do that. Yellow light means it's cool in the past, you know, some of the yellow lights. You'll run a little, you'll light, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes right, right. you won't, just depending on the situation. And then green light just means it's an automatic go. Why wouldn't you go? It's a green light. Don't waste no more of my time. Put it in. Let's go. <laughs> let's so, do it. Let's do it. And I'll, but before we start this, I'm going to say this. If you get a red light, the worst my dude comment. If I don't like it, I don't like it. It don't make me a hater. <laughs> Right, yeah, it's just your opinion. So, I mean, I feel like, because I feel like in the scene, we need we need honesty to keep it healthy. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely. Matter of fact, we're going to start we gonna start in Texas, man. You know anybody? You know any artists in Texas? Know a few. All right, you ever heard of T-Fields? T-Fields, don't ring a bell. What about Big Sid? Nah. That's what's well, up. Let's, well, let's hear him now. Let's hear him now, me on. You got your boy Big C, you got your boy T-Fields with the radio single Like Me. Let's find out what it is. Let's go. There was your boy T Fields, Big Sid, and Star would never, ever, ever, ever. ever so ever. Is, is it never, ever a, a green? Is it never, <laughs> ever a yellow? Or is it never, ever a red? Which one is it? I'm going to give never, ever a yellow. All right, cool. Now, why is it not a green? Why is it not a red? I'm going to keep it 100. When I first heard the hook when it came in, I wasn't really digging it. I don't know. It, it, it didn't do nothing for me. I liked how... I like it when like a beat come in and you think it's gonna go one way then it just drop a whole different way and I like how they did and I like the look the, I like the flow they did to it like the flow they was going with and everything so it, it brought it up to a yellow to me. But man, tell us a little bit about the new mixtape though. Is it um, County Brown hosting this one as well? Definitely, definitely. Mixtape called It's Ray Goss, you bastards. Dope got my boy um, Freddie Gibbs out of Gary, Indiana on it. Got my dude Knowledge from Kids in the Hall out of Chicago. I got Family of Fur on. Of course, JG Gates all day. I hit my dude JBJ off and I told him a beat that I wanted him to do for me, a sample. And he was like, cool, cool. I was like, yeah, I wanted to try to make this mixtape a definite classic. And he hit me back with, now nah, forget classic. We're going to make it timeless. And I, I thought that was hot. How do you feel about the mixtape game, man, nowadays? I'm pretty sure five years ago you was probably able to make a little change after your mixtape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now this time around, you know that the odds you making any money at all is none or none. Man, let me let me tell you. I, I was at Quit Trip a little bit ago. Dude came up to me, yo, check out my mixtape, blase, blase, blase. Dude gave me a mixtape, no cover, magic marker writing on it. <laughs> and I was like, you know, shoot, I do it, so you give it to me, I'm definitely gonna check you out. You do what I do. You know, so I'm gonna try to support you and check you out, give you the benefit of the doubt. The dude hit me with about um, $7. I'm not giving you $7 for no CDRs, but it just hit me back because when I dropped my mixtape, you had a cover. 
you had ink on the CD, and I was giving them out. Do you say so do you feel like so you feel like the mixtape game is killed by the guy you seen at the picture? He he's killing it. <laughs> but I like the mixtape game though. Because for instance, I got a whole bunch of samples on my mixtape. No, no, what I'm saying though, like guys like him that come up to you with Quick Trip or A1 or wherever you might be with this unfinished product. Are these the ones cause is this the reason why the mixtape game sucks and why why no one's downloading mixtapes, no one's buying mixtapes, no one's supporting them? Is, is he the reason? I, I can say he's part of it. Right. He he contributed. Who what what is, what is the contrib what else is contributing? People putting out anything. I I, I want to go back where you, you actually work on your craft. Where you you trying to put out hot music. They think that you got some people that put out mixtapes constant. Here go a mixtape. Three, four months later, here go another mixtape. Two months later, here go another mixtape. Like two months like next week. All right, cool. We, like, we got to get to some more music right quick, though, man. Uh, you ever heard of Julian Keaton? Yeah, that's my homeboy. I don't even want to play a song now, but... No, nah, play it. Yeah. Green Light. <laughs> 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 man, we going to get into it anyway, though, man. Right now, we got your boy Julian Keaton with Rise, man. The honest feedback. You hear me no matter what. You ready? I got you. Let's, Let's go. That was your boy Julian Keaton, man. He wants you to walk with him, man. Um, As y'all walking down this street, is it a green light? Did y'all see? Is it a yellow light or is it a red light? What do y'all see as y'all walk down that street, man? What up, Jew? You like I say, um, no, nah, it ain't cause he's my homeboy or nothing like that. But I, I'm definitely gonna get at a green light. All right. And I'm not even in, too deep in the conscious rap, but I mean, when he, when you talking about the kids and you know trying to do something positive and stuff, I mean, I can't knock that at all. And the beat was dope, and he had a dope flow to it. So I, I, I'm going to get at a green light. Tell me a little bit about the music you like. What can we catch Ray Guys playing right now? Oh, my iPod right now on the way here. I was bumping that new Fabulous Soul Tape too. Big Sean, Detroit, dope. A little bit of 2 chains every now and then. That's, that's on a Friday night, though, when I get out. What would you prefer? 2010 music, 2000 music, or 1990 music? 1990. Can I get a little mix of like 2001 and 1992? So you, uh, so, so, so you definitely agree that the music has definitely went down. That, that's obvious. That's, that's definitely okay, obvious. So when I listen to your mixtape in, in the upcoming months, I'm, I'm hearing that you're doing your part to bring music back to what it's worth. Or, or oh, not at all. Not at all. Right. <laughs> I, I can complain about the movement, but I'm, I'm not crazy enough to try to fix the movement. I think it's... <laughs> <laughs> that's just real talk. I think that it's too much. It's been going on too long. It's too much for me as a... It's, it's going to take more than six seven people trying to fix it but you you are gonna hear a different feel of music that's that's one thing like i'll, I'll go back to two of those again two of those sound like something you're here now but then i also got some dope stuff on there that would take you back to like the 91 like party of the year or something like that I, to this day i still bump the chronic that's that's in my cd player i think that's one of the dopest cds ever dope that was 94 then of course outcast yep. that's when the music was there that, that's when the music, when, when you felt the music, it, it hit you a certain place. I know about the Spice Warns, the Black Sheep, UGK Riding Dirty, all that, you know, and that's that's what I can say I grew up on. All right, cool. We got a lot more music to get to right now. We're about to go back to the R&B singer. You like R&B? Yeah, cool. All right, cool. We about to get, you ever heard of James Kissy or Casey, K-E-S-S-E-E? -E? Nah, but I'm about to hear him now. I'm about to hear him right now, man. It's your boy James Kess. Now, if you went, when you with your lady friend or your wife or your girlfriend, would, would you? I'm it, playing it. You playing it? So when I'm, you play I'm it, you gonna it. play it all the time as in the green light. You are gonna play it sometimes as in the yellow light, or you just not gonna play it at all as you say you uh, gonna play it as a red light. I call R and B my hangover music because when I'm in the car after a long night of drinking or whatever, you had two of those, huh? It, I ain't. I don't have a lot more than two of those. <laughs> <laughs> Probably ordering them by the, ordering them by the tools, but um, I, I don't I don't care to hear all the bass and you know all, all the loud sounds that give me a headache. So when I'm hungover, I definitely put it in an R and B um, CD, and I definitely put that in, especially if I'm with my lady friend and we we riding or whatever. That that'll definitely do the trick. All right, all right, cool. We got more music to be there about right now. Though, have you, um, you ever heard of tag team? I heard of tag team. Have mm -hmm. I ever heard their music? Nah. But they used to day. put me on. Let's go. There was your boys tag team Red Room Studios with the big shot. Is that really the big shot? Is that the green shot, the yellow light, or the red shot? What shot is that? 
Uh, I'll give it that yellow shot. Okay, why wasn't it red? Why wasn't it green? I could dig what they were saying in the, the song. I definitely dug how they uh threw the commentator in there and everything. That was dope. But it, that me personally, that's a green in my opinion because that just ain't my flavor of something I listen to. I think that's something that may grow on me eventually, sooner or later. But right now, nah, I would really want to listen to it. That's what's up, man. So why why wouldn't you want to listen to it though? Once again, I would, let's go a little deeper into it. So let's. I, did they use auto tune? See, I don't, I don't know. Like, yeah, the, you said you wasn't. There. I wasn't there. I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> did it, know. Okay, did it sound like auto tune? Yeah, it did kind of sound like something. Um, like something altering. Yeah, and that's what I say. It's just my opinion. What I'm not a fan of auto tune. I kind of think that's corny a little bit. But you know what I realized a lot of older older males are not found to auto tunes, but like the, a lot of the younger males. To me, it's played out. It's like you had Ryan Bros. He went through it. T Pain. So I don't even include T Pain. That's how he got on or whatever the case is. He his joint be sounded dope. With it, I don't, I'm not really including him, but then, huh, what's that? Yeah, he he kind of perfected it. Right, right, right. To me, it's like a gimmick. Let's throw auto tune on it because that's what's in. Or what? Not saying they did it, but I'm just saying like that's what made me stop liking it. We gonna answer this phone and um, you ever heard of TBS? Nah, where they from? Uh, they from Alabama. Nah. Let's get to it. All right. Hey, bro. 89.5 The Wave. That was your boy TBS out of Alabama, man. What did you think about that one, man? I'm gonna be in a club. I'm going to have two drinks in my hand, and I'm going to be in there going nuts. That, that was dope. Uh, I like the flow they had to it. I like the beat. I don't get at a green light. I wouldn't hear it in the club. Come come to St. Louis, Alabama. That's Alabama, right? Yes, sir. So come to St. Louis. Let me hear that in the club, man. Uh, yeah, man. That was the music review there. No one got a red light, surprisingly. Nah, man. It, it, your music got, to me, your music got to be horrible to get a red light. I listen to me. It just depends on what kind of mood I'm in. I listen to different music. So it, it got to be just real bad for me to give it a red light. When was the last thing you had a, heard a bad song in St. Louis, man? In St. Oh, man, look at you. Man, you had a showcase. You had a showcase last week. Right. How was the showcase? Like, back in the day, back when you said my name was Buzz and everything, I was doing shows all the time. I was out all the time. So, i get on stage, you know, with shots, all kinds of vodka in me going there and rip the show. Cool, cause the and show, it was cause cool. The fans, and the fans already knew, and they, they, and they knew, knew the words. It's different. When the, right. If you already got the fans support, you can do whatever you yeah, want. Really yeah, yeah. And it was like the, uh, the I was, I was kind of like the new kid on the scene a little bit. And, um... You know, my body wasn't ain't like it used to be when I, cause it ain't like used to me just going in there performing. I'm knowing all the words, no matter what. I'm going in or whatever, and you know, just a lesson learned, man. So it just, I'm glad it happened, cause it got me a hundred percent more focus. And I've been writing every day, rehearsing, you know, different concepts to make this uh, the show go better and all that. So I'm kind of happy it did go. Right, cool. did. We got like three minutes left, but before you get out the arrow, man, make sure to give me the name of the mixtape again. Where can they find it? When it's gonna drop? How can people find you on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you want, man? Everything, man. Give them cool, cool. Name. New mixtape dropping about maybe beginning of the summer. It's Ray Gauss, you bastards. Hosted by County Brown and DJ Goonie. You're gonna see posters everywhere. You're gonna see flyers everywhere. I was just about to ask too. Like, Crazy word. promo. Like you said it's dropping in the summer. I was just about to ask you too. So what are you gonna do to build up on it? But you kinda give me a little detail of what you Oh uh, definitely do. that's why I want to drop it in the winter. Cause I could drop it tomorrow if I wanted to for real. Or next week go ahead and get all the CDs burnt and stuff. But I mean when it starts snowing and getting cold, what's the point of putting posters up? Yeah. And stuff they just gonna blow down. So I'm gonna say the beginning of the summer that's when we gonna come with it um definitely push them two of those so that's gonna give us a buzz to also come with it and we're gonna be traveling just going on just going everywhere trying to push the um mixtape it's ray gauss you bastards hosted by county brown and dj goonie get it in your head you doing any shows with fresco came with the two of those yet yeah i was hollering at him and uh we definitely we supposed to get up soon next couple days and grab a drink so we definitely gonna talk about all that type of stuff he definitely man a lot of people was telling me yeah you did a song with fresco he ain't gonna support it he ain't gonna you know he's just gonna do the song and this and that let me let me make something clear i don't even call him fresco me and jenna i call him jenna or grid known we known of each other since like 99 2000 i really you know, got the norm and everything about 2001. And that's who got me really rapping on, on some solo stuff there. He the first person I recorded with. I was getting beats from him every other day over his house every other day. So I wasn't even worried about that. You know, some people even say, you did two of those because he got signed to uh, So So. Not true. I did two of those before he even, we did, we did two of those before he even got the deal. Right. Before we even knew anything. Well, I didn't know nothing about no So So deal. 
and stuff. So he ain't did nothing but support the song. He hit me up, how the song going, shoot me a text when he on the road or whatever. You know what you doing? You know what I'm saying? So I know if it's just about anything I need from him with the song, it's there. So I ain't even worried about nothing like that. Right, cool, man. Closing words, man. 20 seconds, man. What's up? 20 What's up? seconds. Twitter, at Ray Gauss. Get at me on YouTube, Meet Ray Gauss. On uh, website, meetraygauss.com, gausslife.com, coming soon. Instagram, Ray Gauss. Facebook, Ray Gauss. Everything, Ray Gauss. Holler my boy Fresco, too. Support us on at Fresco on Twitter. Check out his new song, Hot. And uh, we, we just rolling, man. Check out AddictedDopeness.com all day. MidwestMixtapes.com. All that, man. Most Support St. Louis. Show them love. They need your love. Just like Ace Hood, Trey Songs. I need your love right now. 89.5. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs>